In-Depth Outdoors, Spot on the Spot ID. On today's installment of Spot on the Spot ID, we're gonna talk through uh, PJ and my basic approach to fishing Upper Red Lake early ice. Now this is gonna be a walkout only deal. Uh, the resorts are not allowing wheeler or snowmobile traffic at this time. Uh, so that means the amount of ground you're going to be able to cover is uh, fairly limited. We're not going to be setting off on a journey out to the middle of the lake. We're going to focus on that uh, shoreline bite, which is honestly where the fish are at early ice. And by shoreline, I mean we launched right here. That's at JR's. And the shoreline is going to be this portion of the lake right here. Notice I didn't go any farther up the uh, eastern shoreline because if you're going to launch out of JR's or any resort, you're probably going to only go a mile or two. So what we've done in the past that's always worked for us, we always keep in mind the need to get away from the crowds. Uh, most of the activity out of JR's is going to be right out here. That's just the extent of effort that most people are going to put in to getting out away from the shoreline and out away from the crowds. So what we've always done in the past is just come out of the resort, head on down the shoreline break. And at that point, once we get to a comfortable place away from the crowds, and we're not worried about, you know, a single person here or two people, you know, 50, 75 yards in the other direction. We're worried about half dozen, 10 ice houses and lots of traffic that goes with it. We want to stay away from that. What we did was came on down that shoreline, worked out away from the traffic that was out in front of the resort and got down into an area where you can see down here, there's just lots of rubble and rock and different things going on there with a nice break. We actually found a lot of these fish uh, out at the base of a break in 10 to 11 foot of water. So we kind of found an area where there weren't uh, very many anglers around us. We settled up in that spot and essentially caught all of our fish right at the base of this break down in 10 to 11 foot of water. Now, I am confident that if we had applied this exact same approach going in the other direction, got away from anglers and found a, a decent shoreline break uh, out into that deeper water, that 10, 11 foot of water, we would have been just as successful. So the next time you're on upper red, keep these very basic principles in mind. You don't have to be a half mile or a mile away from the traffic. 100 or 200 yards is more than plenty and do find a way to set your, yourself up next to or near some shoreline structure. A break that goes from six to 10 or from five to 11 will really put the odds in your favor of getting in an area that the fish are moving through in waves.